Welcome back to Mental Math. Today we're exploring an infinite nested cube root. Our task is to find the value of x, where x equals the cube root of 6 plus the cube root of 6 plus the cube root of 6, continuing forever. How do we solve something infinite? The key, as with many infinite structures, is recognizing self-similarity. Look inside the first cube root. That entire nested expression is identical to the whole thing. Since the whole expression equals x, we can substitute x back into itself. The infinite complexity collapses into one elegant equation. One quick note. Since we're taking cube roots of positive numbers, x must be positive. That'll be a useful sanity check later. Now we have a clean algebraic equation to work with. Here's our equation. To solve for x, we need to eliminate this cube root. The inverse of a cube root is cubing. So let's cube both sides. We cube both sides of the equation. On the left, the cube and cube root cancel, leaving 6 plus x. On the right, we get x cubed. Let's rearrange this into standard polynomial form by moving everything to one side. Subtracting x and 6 from both sides gives us x cubed minus x minus 6 equals 0. Now we have a cubic equation. How do we solve it? For polynomials with integer coefficients, there's a handy tool for finding rational roots. The rational root theorem says that any rational solution must divide the constant term, which is negative 6. That gives us a short list of candidates to test. Testing x equals 1. 1 cubed minus 1 minus 6 gives negative 6. Not 0, so that doesn't work. Trying x equals negative 1. Negative 1 cubed plus 1 minus 6 also gives negative 6. Not a root, either. Let's try x equals 2. 2 cubed is 8. Minus 2 is 6, minus 6 equals 0. Perfect. We found a root. Since we found a root, we can factor the polynomial to check for other real solutions. Since x equals 2 is a root, x minus 2 must be a factor. We'll use synthetic division to find what's left. Setting up synthetic division, our root 2 goes on the left. On the right, we write the coefficients. 1 for x cubed, 0 for the missing x squared term, negative 1 for x, and negative 6. The first step is to bring down the leading coefficient, which is 1. Next, we multiply the number on the outside, 2, by the number we just brought down, 1, and write the result, 2, in the next column. Now we add the numbers in the second column. 0 plus 2 is 2. We repeat the process. 2 times 2 is 4, which we place in the third column. We add again. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. One last time. 2 times 3 is 6. And for our final sum, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. This 0 remainder confirms that 2 is indeed a root. The numbers on the bottom row are the coefficients of our resulting quadratic factor. Our factored form is x minus 2 times x squared plus 2 x plus 3, all equals 0. Now let's check the quadratic factor for any more real solutions. This equation is true if either x minus 2 equals 0, giving us x equals 2, or if this quadratic factor equals 0, let's check for real roots. We can check this using the discriminant. For ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. If it's negative, no real roots exist. In our quadratic, a is 1, b is 2, and c is 3. Plugging these values into the discriminant formula, we get 4 minus 12, which equals negative 8. A negative discriminant means the quadratic has no real roots, only complex ones. x equals 2 is our only real solution. 
Let's visualize this to confirm our result. Real solutions are where the graph crosses the x-axis. Here's our function. y equals x cubed minus x minus 6. The curve crosses the x-axis at exactly one point. That intersection is right at x equals 2, confirming our solution. The graph crosses exactly once. So what's the value of this infinite nested radical? This entire infinite expression collapses to just two. A beautifully simple answer. Let's verify the cube root of six plus two equals the cube root of eight, which is indeed two. Perfect. Thanks for watching Mental Math. If you enjoyed this infinite radical adventure, give it a like and subscribe for more mathematical explorations.